What is going on everyone? How's it going my fellow collectors? This is Regan and welcome back to yet another unboxing and review video. In this video, we're gonna talk about this newly released figure of Hot Toys and this is none other than Buzz Lightyear from the animated film Disney Pixar Lightyear or one six scale Space Ranger Alpha Buzz Lightyear collectible figure deluxe version MMS 635 by Hot Toys and before we start if you're new here to our channel please consider to subscribe and press the notification bell as well if you want to get notified once I upload a new video especially Hot Toys and don't forget to hit the like button as well if you want to support this channel okay without further ado let's dive in oh my goodness so this is the art box I already unboxed this one earlier but I forgot to turn on or I don't know there's something wrong with my mic so yes so we're gonna, I'm gonna repeat it again. So this is the art box. I'd say looks pretty cool. Looks pretty high end to me. I love the picture of the bus light here, right here. That embossed print looks really nice, actually. Although it has some like, scratches on the side, which I don't like it because uh, it's kind of like take away the you know high end look of this art box. But anyway, so at the bottom right there. On the top, that's it, right? It looks really nice. I love the color as well. And at the back, that's pretty neat description. I love it. Looks like a Gundam style, right? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, looks really cool. So let's open it. There you go. Oh my goodness. That is the art cover print. Kind of like art cover print, but it's like kind of like a style, right? It's like a helmet, right? That is absolutely fantastic. Love the idea. And then right here, some very neat packaging presentation of this bus light here let's take it out and let me show you guys first the instruction sheet so here you go the instruction sheets there you go just one small piece of paper and the picture i don't know why it's not highlighted right uh, that's kind of weird but uh, it looks cool so don't forget to check this out if you're not familiar with bus light but i think it's very easy to you know find out or you know search those uh, function of this figure anyway so let's start with this uh top packaging right here which is the accessories absolutely beautiful especially that you know that jet pack or the wing pack absolutely beautiful so we got the socks figure right here in yellow color and it has some articulated function absolutely beautiful right nice this is really cool guys right especially that articulation wow wait, let me right there right that is really cute so the head look down and up twist and then the arms the legs wow the body it has some waistline articulation that looks really cool right okay and then the tail right there and then moving on to this wing pack the details look at that oh my goodness and then the weathering the paint application is absolutely incredible right nice sculpt here the mold for the back of uh bus lights here wow very nice detail that's not really heavy right yeah this is not heavy movable parts only this four on the side and that's it you cannot detach yes okay looks pretty cool guys and then of course the wings i believe this four wings right here is the close one the close version or the close mode and then the open mode right here absolutely beautiful the print the paint application and it's pretty light so not heavy to attach it to the back or to the wing pack there you go nice paint application guys believe me and it's pretty durable huh? okay and then last one right here is the computer uh, it looks like a family uh, nintendo right <laughs> yeah it looks like a nintendo uh i forgot that yes right this is really nice amazing this is amazing oh my goodness love this one moving on so let's open the main packaging right there okay so let me zoom out so you guys can see it properly okay so i'm gonna start with the extra joints right here so we got two pieces of extra joints and it's quite huge okay and we got five pieces of extra interchangeable gloved hands i'm gonna start with this pointing fingers 
and then the salute gesture absolutely fantastic and then the relaxed hand a pair of relaxed hands right here the details the paint applications i think it looks fantastic right yeah i would say pretty neat you know there you go and it's quite heavy if you're going to carry this five pieces of hands <laughs> anyway moving on to this part right here so this is kind of like uh, i'm not sure I forgot something like a handle right like uh, you're gonna he's gonna hold it like both side maybe or just one side okay oh this is really cool as well and of course his weapon is kind of like a pistol his gun right here the details yeah the weathering the paint application yeah looks really good look at that right and it's made out of plastic material and pretty solid i would say okay nice and then right here is kind of his uh kind of like a cannon that we're going to attach he to his you know arm to his gauntlet looks like a gauntlet something like that a gauntlet cannon all right i love the details this one you could move kind of like a wire rubber material also this one is kind of like a rubbery material okay and then that's it there's no movable parts aside from this suit the deed is absolutely beautiful see nice and then next up right here is his blade the equipping blade all right it looks pretty cool as well the details pretty neat you know i'd say love this translucent color right here the plastic Right, I wish it has some, you know, LED light up function so we could, you know, light it up this part right here, the blade, right? Amazing. The details, the weathering, beautiful. Right, okay. And then, of course, the main figure. Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. His head cover. Right, head cover for his suit. Right, very clear. I wish it's not gonna turn into yellow color, you know. Uh, you know in the future hopefully and uh, just be careful that not to scratch it because of course it's hard to find uh, like a replacement with this one you know Ooh, yeah. better not to wipe it yeah oh my god I could see already some scratches I don't want to touch it anymore so anyway yes there you go Ooh, I can see some dust so many dust anyway yeah looks really good and then this one the main figure right there absolutely beautiful guys look at that the details already removed the plastic earlier but unfortunately the sounds uh didn't work earlier so anyway this is really nice guys beautiful look at the look at those details right details the paint applications fantastic and of course last but not least is the base yeah the some simple base i'd say and some nice uh kind of like a reflective uh, print and the nameplate yeah the hexagonal team base holder waist holder and we got the dynamic pole bam okay i'm gonna take it out this one All right so i think that's pretty much everything included inside the box so let's check the or let's test the articulations of this figure okay let's go the head is actually pretty tight guys see wow pretty tight Ooh. twist side to side there you go just do it slowly look down that's it not much look up oh it's okay so i would say like you know pretty standard i think it's pretty accurate to the film so it doesn't have much of you know movement on the head right so i'd say like you know very limited range of motion okay moving on to the arms all the way up there to the side 90 degrees pretty smooth there you go fantastic up all the way up there actually 360 there you go swivel same other side and you could actually pull this one just like the iron man style so you could have extra range of motion to the front you know something like this okay so right there double jointed which is fantastic and other side as well there you go perfect that is really cool right see so you got that you know strongman uh pose fantastic and then yeah you could open this one to the side 
And then the wrist joint, I'd say pretty standard, you know, at least it's not loose. There you go, okay? And then moving on to the upper body right here, you can twist, yeah, see twist right there at the side, up to there. I'm not sure if you could pull this one just like Iron Man, but nah. <laughs> anyway, crunch in. Wait, what? That's, oh yeah, there you go. So it's actually a bit tight, you know, if you're going to move this one because I thought it doesn't have. But yeah, it has extra range of motion on the upper body. So if you want to twist, you could twist more. Yeah, I forgot that, you know, to, you know, to force it earlier because I thought it doesn't have. There you go. But it has. And that's it. So it has more articulations and I'd say, yeah, fantastic. Okay. And then moving on to the legs, to the side. There you go. Okay, that's the max. To the front, all the way up there. Below 90 degrees. So sitting down kind of like this. Right, not bad, that looks really cool. And of course, knees double jointed for some running poses, which is absolutely beautiful, right? And then, extend, if you're going to extend his leg to the back, that's how it looks like. So you could split actually his legs. Wow, that is fantastic. Okay, and then swivel, you could swivel a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, and then ankle, I think, uh, yeah, it's pretty tight, you know. I think he could be able to stand even without those uh, holder. Point, legs, that's it, because of this uh, cover right here. Twist, not much. See? At least side, a little bit. There you go. Okay? Other side as well. Okay, I think it's pretty tight. Okay, I think that's it for the articulations uh, for this figure. It has some rubber here. So once you lift the legs, I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, you could easily, I mean, it's not going to scratch somehow. Which is, you know, really good. And same on the other side. Yeah, this one's rubbery material. And uh, there's no movable parts aside from this one right here on this gauntlet. Bam! That is really cool, right? Amazing. And then some nice details there. Okay, I think that's it for the movable parts on this body. So everything else, yeah, looks good. Just like, looks like a Gundam to me, right? <laughs> kind of like that, yeah. But then, uh, yeah, love the details, the quality, the paint applications. Wow, for me, it's wow, you know, especially those extra print. There you go, those logos, right there. Amazing. Absolute. This one looks like detachable, right? But then it's not. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it. And uh, yeah, the details, again, absolutely beautiful. And of course, the paint application, fantastic. Even, the, even this one right here. Okay. Okay, I think that's it. And then moving on to attaching or playing with accessories. I'm gonna start with this, with this weapon, this gun. I believe we could, uh, uh, what's this like, attach or stick to his legs because of the mag magnet magnetically designed. There you go, right? Ooh. <gasps> that looks really strong, right? Okay, and then also there's another one. I remember this one right here. His blade, his blade. Okay. Damn, nice. I think both sides. I believe both sides, kind of like that, no. Oh, so I'm not sure where, but I think right here and then this part right here. See? So if you're going to attach it, like, bam, wow, that looks so strong. It's around like bottom, so not here, okay? Just in case you're going to attach it, like you, you cannot find that. There you go. And then I think that's very easy. And then this uh, cannon, kind of like a cannon uh, on his, you know, for his arm. There you go. So you could attach all the weapon to his body. Right there. So I believe this is like kind of like a regular version. So if you want the deluxe version, you're gonna 
get this uh, wing pack. I remember. So this is deluxe version. So that's why I got that uh, wing pack. Well, to be honest, I it's, I prefer the you know deluxe version. So regular version, nah. Okay. I mean, like yes, it looks good as well. But then uh, you know you're gonna miss that you know the best part you know of Buzz Lightyear. Anyway, let's try this wing pack. I'm gonna try this later. So this one, wow, that looks really strong. Bam. And then also this one, it has a magnet as well. So it's totally um it's totally safe. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. This is amazing, right? I like that connected part to his suit, so it's fantastic. And then let's try this on. So we got the close mode um hmm, i believe this one's right here there you go and then the red color should be on the right there you go so let's remove first <laughs> wow and then it's gonna somehow flip like this but of course it's not gonna flip and then it's gonna extend it's gonna look like this bam right and the other side something like that and then it's gonna slide out as well and there you go. That's how it looks like. Oh my goodness. I wish it has some, uh, I don't know, like maybe LED light up function or like, you know, um, fire thrust effect. Maybe. Or not fire thrust, it's like white color, you know, for the smoke. More of like that. And then that's it. Woo! <laughs> Amazing. Now it's a bit heavy. It's a bit heavy now because of this uh, wing pack. I think it's totally fine. You could still stun him, you know. Even with that wing pack, that is absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. I wish I could buy that Robocent. Uh, yeah, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, yes, uh, let me try this on. So this is the blade, his equipping blade. Let's see. Wait. So it's actually very easy to attach it. Something like this. Or even the gun, actually. Even the gun. There you go, fantastic, okay? And then, for socks, he's just gonna stand somewhere around there, right? Anyway, there you go. And then, I actually forgot the cover. Nice. As I said earlier, avoid uh, wiping it. Maybe blower is better. So, you know, those dust actually inside. It's inside. Some dust. <laughs> yeah, at least he has some extra oxygen. There you go. Bam! Okay. And then, uh, let's try that. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. I want to try his blade holding it so at least... We could all put to his body. Or if you're going to display it, so at least you're not, you don't need to, you know, put it somewhere. There you go. Bam! Oh my goodness. That is absolutely beautiful. And then this one, probably nah. Alright, so I think that's pretty much everything about the accessories. So now let's check the movable eyeballs or separate rolling eyeballs. Kind of like that. I wish it has some extra interchangeable face cups so we could have some extra facial expression like smiling, right? But this one doesn't have. Let me zoom a little bit. There you go. So it is magnetically designed and then you could move this one. Although it doesn't have any... Um, control like yeah tool usually it has tool included right but this one doesn't have so if you i think it's but it's very pretty easy to move you know i think just finger is okay say something like this look down down there you go okay yeah, look up wait yeah using your fingers is actually totally fine Totally fine. Look at that. That is amazing. And then to the side. There you go. Fantastic, right? See? <laughs> Maybe that's weird. Anyway. 
Yeah, so let's uh, let me put it back to the center. Yeah, it's actually pretty fun to you know play with the eyes. There you go. Bam. Right, that is really nice. Love the skin tone, the texture. Yeah, I think it's pretty neat, right? Amazing. The quality of the head, a bit of like rubbery plastic, hard plastic material. Okay, there you go. Right, so I think that's it about this figure and my overall thoughts on this Buzz Lightyear. I'd say absolutely beautiful. It is a great looking piece and definitely a must buy, you know, a must have figure. If you're into this character, if you like Buzz Lightyear, of course, Toy Story. Who doesn't know Toy Story? I mean, like, they're really, really nice, right? But this one is from the animated uh, film Lightyear. But still, I think he looks fantastic, uh, especially the details. It doesn't look like toyish look, you know, in my honest opinion. So you're gonna love this figure. Um, hopefully, you know, they're, they're gonna add some extra characters. But I think this figure is more of like a stand alone. But, you know, I hope, you know, in the future, maybe... But, you know, overall about this figure, you know, everything about this figure, I think it looks incredible. The details, the paint application, the articulation, especially, you're going to love posing this figure, especially those dynamic poses. And then, um, yeah, I think that's about it. I just wish that it has some LED light up functions, some movable parts, like, or light up effects there. So it will be really, really cool, right? But then, I don't know why they didn't add that. Probably, like, it will cost more, you know, or probably even the, you know the price of the license of this figure may be even more expensive you know maybe i'm not 100 percent sure but just my you know wild guess so anyway i think if you're on the fence on getting this figure you're not gonna go wrong guys believe me it's a no-brainer you're gonna love it believe me and i think that's about it that's all i could say about this figure here and let me know your thoughts as well on this one feel free to comment down below and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet okay until then see you on the next one Peace.